All right, Stanley 84 here with a little uh, Transformer movie update, news, rumors, whatever you want to call it. Uh, second time doing this video, first time. I didn't line up right. I caught my eyeballs, top of my head off. What's up, me? All right, uh, so we're gonna hit right into this. Uh, there's been a rumor, uh, or confirmed by some people, that uh, Unicron, yes, that guy, is in this movie. He's the big bad of Transformers 5, The Last Night. I take that very, very much with a grain of salt. I, I do not believe he's the big bad of this movie. I'm hoping he's not. There's too much in this movie as is to cram him in. Um, there's a bit of, uh, I think it was an event in China, and they released, they showed some stuff and did some things, and they released this movie synopsis, like a short description of the movie, and it's right here. And it mentions that uh, Bumblebee and Kate Yeager are here to fight Megatron, Subsicons, Optotrons, all fighting Unicron. And I'm hoping that's new. Um, they said they want to make this like the Marvel Cinematic, Cinematic Universe. They need to, if they're going to do that, they need to make Unicron the Thanos. He, he needs to be built up over the course of a few movies as the big bad who's looming somewhere. Or he's in the history of something, you know, and people might know of him maybe. Or just, you know, or they, they know of him and he's in their history like this guy, you know, he got caught and sent away somewhere by something, blah, blah, blah. Made mention by the creators and, you know, you know he's out there. Well, they do the Thanos road, they, they route where they don't know of him at the moment, it seems to be. And he's eventually just going to show up in this cosmic shit, you know. So, if they're going to do Unicron, do it that way. He, uh, I'd rather them go the Prime route, uh, like for this Unicron. Um, I don't want him to be another big huge planet who comes to Earth. Because if they do that, the Dark of the Moon, they already have Cybertron come to Earth. And in this movie, they have Cybertron coming back to Earth. Most likely the Cybertron coming back to Earth. And so, it'd be the, the dude, Unicron be the third time they have a big huge planet come down to Earth. You know, that way, I really think Unicron as a planet, he need to do like the 86 movie, he's going, and he's going to eat Cybertron. Revive Cybertron and have him come and threaten that. That might give you something. Otherwise, go the prime route where he's like in the Earth and he's not a big, huge planet. He's just someone who's city bot size like Fortress Maximus or Metroplex in G1 cartoon or, uh, or toy scale. Comic scale Fortress Maximus wasn't that big. Alright, on to the next thing. Uh, there's a rumor or thing. It's not a rumor, there is confirmed that there's another trailer coming. It's been raided already over in the UK. So, uh, it's already been raided there. I think it was 2 minutes 21 seconds long. And, uh, the rumor or the speculation is it's going to be released April 28th, which is the street day release of the toys for Transformers The Last Night. That would be nice to wait to do it together. Uh, I see that as good promotion. But we just had a trailer earlier, I believe, earlier. It was released the first week of April, April 2nd, 1st, something like that. Or it was already released, I believe, this month. I believe it hold the trailer off till May. But you know, April 28th is like three days away from May, so it, same thing. The movie comes out pretty much two months from two days from now. I'm filming this April 21st. The movie comes out June 23rd, so it's two months away. The movie's two months away. So, I mean, April 28th is not a bad day. It's just two trailers in a month. I mean, whatever. But it'd be nice to see it. If they do release a new trailer, I would like to see a little more Hot Rod, a little more Barricade, or just give me a little more Decepticons altogether. Onslaught, show me some of him. Mohawk, uh, Nitro, Megatron. Show me some Berserker. Show me something. Uh, show me a little bit of Hot Rod, some Drift. I haven't seen Drift at all. Barely seen any Hound. Show me something. Um, let's get a little more hyped up for them. You know, slip in some John Turturro or something, you know. Uh, a little more Linux or some Tyrese, you know, something like that. But uh, don't spoil things. Keep it light on the plot. I don't want everything spoiled for me. And please don't show any Decepticons dying. We already know Mohawk's fate. Based on the last trailer, if that is, you know, he does die. But, you know, it looks that way anyway. All right, on to the last thing. There was a promo art released. Uh, I had this a couple days ago. I didn't make a video because it's so quick. It's this little, little thing, but I can throw it into this one. Yeah, it shows uh, it's promo art for the toys. It shows Megatron Battle Optimus Prime and on what appears to be Cybertron with Earth in the background. Uh, there is supposed to be a, a planet playset release, I believe, of Cybertron. Uh, so it could be for the box art for that, or it could be. One of like a, a display piece, like a Toys R Us puts those little cardboard like things of Star Wars, Transformers, Power Rangers, whatever above the toy sections when they have something they're showcasing in the front. It could be something for that. So it could just be 
you know, promo art to advertise the toys themselves. Or it could be part of the box art that's going to appear on some toys or on like the Planet playset toys or toys maybe made for that playset. So that's all I got to say in this video. Uh, if you like what you saw here, you know, hit the like button. If you want to talk about anything here, Unicron, uh, the promo art, the trailer, comment down below. Do you want to see Unicron in these movies at all? In this movie or any movie at all? Uh, let me know down below. Anyways, thanks for watching. Until next one.